Let's make that. First press shift A to add a plane, scale it up by 5, go into edit mode, press E to extrude, Z and then 10. Go into object properties, go into viewport display, and display as wire. Add a circle, bring it up by 5, and scale it by 3.5. Go into edit mode, press F to fill, and then I to add some geometry. And then we're going to add a subdivision of 1. Now bring the cube up by 3. Now we're going to add our spheres. Shift A, UV sphere, bring it up by seven. Now we're going to create our geometry for our sphere. Go into edit mode, select the edge loops that you would like to extrude. Select as many as you would like. It uh, personally does not matter, but whatever is your preference. Now we're going to press Shift D to duplicate it. Right click and then separate by selection. Edit mode, click that, scale it up, add a subdivision of two by pressing Control 2 and go into edit mode, press A and Alt E and extrude along normals and bring it into the sphere so it just hovers over it. Nice. Now, we're gonna shade smooth on the sphere and add a subdivision of one. Also, we're gonna shade smooth on the extruded parts of the sphere. Now we're going to work on the textures. For the texture of the cube, we're going to call it mirror. We're going to make the metallic up to 100%, specular down, and the roughness down all the way. And that will be a perfectly reflective surface. Now for the material of the circle. But first, we're going to add a solidify modifier to the circle. Create a new material, call this one base. Scroll down, bring the transmission all the way up and the transmission roughness up slightly. Make sure to bring the roughness down to 0.1. And now we're gonna work on the material of the inner sphere. This material is gonna be the same as a cube, the mirror material. And now for the material of the outer sphere, we're gonna call this one emission. Cause this is going to be a very bright material. It's going to light up the mirror. So we're gonna bring our shader surface to emission and correct our typo. Now, we have finished all the materials. So we're going to start working on the camera. Shift A, add a camera, and we're gonna bring this camera into the corner of our cube. Right there, just like that. And rotate it, it's facing at the sphere. So we get that nice camera view, as you saw from the start of the video. Now, we're in the camera view, press R twice, so we can focus it right onto the sphere. Now we're going to bring the focal length down on the camera so we can see a wider field of view. Now we're going to do a quick test render. As you can see, the mirror is not reflecting enough. So we're going to have to go to our render settings and light paths and bring the diffuse down to zero, transparency down to zero, transmission down to eight, and the glossy up to 32. And the total to 32. Now if we look at the render, you'll see that the mirror is reflecting a lot more. 32 times to be exact. Beautiful, isn't it? Now for the final part of our animation, we're going to create a physics simulation for our spheres. We're going to connect these two objects and duplicate them. So then we can have some physics simulation. Now duplicate these, try to make it a bit random, and move them in different areas, at different scales. Go to top view, move these around, make sure that some are overlapping so they will interact with each other when they fall. Beautiful. I think that is good. Now we're going to create our physics for each object. We're going to create a rigid body for the circle, make it passive and colossal loss margin of 0.001. Now we're going to create body for this sphere and close margin of 
I'm going to do that for every object. We got a rigid body constraint on every object now. So let's go to the rigid body world, go to cache, and we're going to bake our animation. Wow, very beautiful. So we're going to preset the end frames to 100 and we're going to click bake all dynamics. Well, that is everything guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.